Simple ways to study that just make sense. Flashcards are a great way to organise your information into the most important. Um, the things that you put on flashcards are the things that you need to be able to memorise and recall when it's time for an exam. Following the how to make flashcards handout that's also attached to this video, it will make it a lot easier in figuring out the steps that you need to take to create your own flashcards and what goes first. Following that handout, these are just a couple of examples of what your flashcards might look like and how to organize them. So the first one would be your module name. So for example, the common module, text and human experiences. The whole point of flashcards is to be able to ask yourself questions that you can then answer. So for example, what is the module about? Here, we've got our question. What is text and human experiences about? And then on the back, we have our answer. What is the concept that is studied in the module? If the module doesn't have a concept, you can leave that one out. So an example, what is a human experience? And on the back, the answer. After we talk about concept, we need to talk about the rubric. So we can talk about key rubric words and their meanings. And this here would mean that we would repeat them. So for example, what does anomaly mean? And the answer on the back. We would repeat this step for as many of these key words that we need to understand and remember. The next is we have to talk about the text that we see the concept through. So we need to make sure that we have the basics down pat, the title, the author, and the date published. So our example, and on the back, our answer. When we talk about the text, we also then break them up into subcategories, just like we would for a mind map. So for a subcategory, we might start with a character or a theme and talk about that. And we might explain why that character and theme fits in with that concept or text. So an example, I chose the character of Billy Elliot and I explained why it's important to the concept or the text. And then on the back, I've also got a quote and a technique that go with that. Now there's also one other thing that we need to add and that is analysis. Now these go together in groups. So we've got here the character, the explanation, the quote and the technique, and then the analysis. Our analysis of these quote towards the, towards the concept or text. And our example would go on the back. It allows the audience to da 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 da. And we would repeat this as many times as we need to so that we have all the characters or themes explained for us to remember. And that's the final part. Repeat. Repeat as many times as you can. You can also use a lightness system to learn your flashcards and to make sure that you are focusing on the ones that you don't understand the most more frequently. And that is simple ways to study that just make sense.